Hi. Um, I have already uh, released this video on my LinkedIn, but I thought that maybe it makes sense to review it together because I just uh, I did it in German, so I wanted to also have an English version on my podcast. The idea was um, I've worked on this project for almost eight months or something like that, and I have used Raspberry Pi as the base of this project and uh, a lot of hats, a different type of uh, um, components, electrical, mechanical, everything. I built everything by myself. I didn't, um, it was basically my design. Um, so I will, in this video, I will show you uh, what I have done uh, for this project, uh, how it went forward. Um, basically, I'm using my laptop as my as the uh, main and client, um, which process the M images and uh, Raspberry Pi um, as a server. Um, but I also I use uh, webcams, which is are also Raspberry Pi webcams. Uh, I use uh, Raspberry Pi camera. So basically, the idea was to. Uh, make uh, and create uh, an automatic heater which can find your location at at room and in the room and um, just follow your steps or your location and just focus on your uh, on the person so that was the idea and this way to save energy uh, because you can personalize this um, device uh, according to the your preferences uh, the temperature that you like and uh, it is fully automatic it's just vision based so basically everything is controlled by the camera and then the idea is just uh, when you get out of the room so technically uh, the, um, um, the, the, the the device the, the heater gets off and that's a, a big uh, benefit of such a system that does not need constantly to heat up the, the whole room um, to, to, to waste energy because you are the person that probably you are it's important that you feel good uh, not the other objects like desk or table or whatever so uh, my idea was just to focus and find the location of the person and then apply the heat exactly where he is in this way to save energy um, but I would like to actually um, run this and uh, to show you uh, basically uh, what was how it works so um, I used Python basically for uh, sorry um, I use Python basically for uh, OpenCV for detecting the location and, and recognizing the upper body and um, somehow connect it with the Raspberry Pi as the server um, via OPC UA and just sending signals and uh, everything was that uh, server server side was needed. So you see that, uh, as you see in the, in the video, uh, basically the server is running. This is on a Linux base, uh, getting information or uh, sending information via OPC, OPC UA server. And um, also from that side, you see that the device tries to find the location and focus on you. And I have I had a, I have bought a very small heater basically, and I uh, kind of like inserted two servo motors in in the in the um, uh, heater itself, and to move right right left and also the head up and down, and also one axis which is basically moving um, left to right, and when you are moving in uh, in the in the room, and I'm um, just here trying to explain that how, how how long it took for me as I said eight months and um, I defined that like two rails and the device is basically hanging from the wall and also um, it's uh, it's used a uh, kind of like uh, DC motor but it's uh, the, the position is basically defined based on three position right position left position and in the middle position and um, 
and maybe get a little bit closer so I have also one screen and also one Raspberry Pi inside the, the head or the um, that uh, main part of the machine and uh, later I have also some other plans to maybe apply um, other vision techniques to somehow make a collaboration with the robot or whatever you call it, uh, the heater uh, for other um, adjusting the preferences and settings and also somehow a kind of um, communication between the uh, heater and the person in the room it can also act as a yeah as a personal assistance for you but uh, I, I I need to think more about that what are a type of uh, application uh, but the idea is simple it can also be adopted not only with electrical heaters but also air conditioners any type of uh, device that produce basically heat and the end effect or the tools can be connected so as you see i'm tell explained it that my laptop is as a client and it is uh, everything is connected to the server via ethernet basically i have a switch uh, in between and this, this will be this will be connected to the server which as i told you has different uh, hats uh, and uh, it controls the turn off and down and turn off and uh on the uh, the device itself uh, controls the um, the positions uh, controls the servo motors control the DC motor and um, what else um, also I get some um, um, IOs for for extra things like the sensors like I, I also have a temperature sensors which monitors the temperature of the room and compare it with uh, your preferences uh, of the of, of the person the the funny thing is that with the vision you can actually basically um, recognize the person who is inside the room and based on the preferences and uh, basically apply your method and what else um, yeah so um, basically it's not really complicated uh, mechanism but um, it took really some time for me to apply all these techniques and I was doing beside my job basically so it was not so easy um, but I think this is uh, important uh, if we really want to have efficient way of heating because um, I had some problems because of the algorithm that I used because it was not so accurate sometimes I could not uh, find a location of the person you see there are I am showing the cameras I have one camera over there and one camera the other way so two cameras are looking uh, at the object uh, or the person uh, simultaneously and uh, identifying the location of the person so this this way um, basically um, um, there is a uh, less chance of um, fa failure by by the software so because uh, two cameras should uh, confirm simultaneously that the location is right unfortunately with OpenCV uh, and this um, the way that I actually implemented which basically works on the uh, um, so differences so frame differences uh, this was not it's not so accurate actually and um, I, I probably I, I tried to, to, to uh, apply other techniques like image database and uh, using some kind of like uh, neural networks to somehow maybe identify the objects uh, or the person easier uh, without because shadows or sometimes uh, reflection from the mirror could actually uh, make the uh, algorithm actually a little bit um, uh, not functioning very well so I'm just trying now represent or show you that if when I'm moving inside the room how, 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 how the heat heater tries to move to to my location and then uh, focusing on me but of course it's not always accurate and it was a little bit uh, slow 
Mm, but you see that it's it moves and find my location and, and tries to turn on the the the, the camera sorry and the, the, the device and then I look another uh, or move another way another where uh, so somewhere else uh, also moves so the idea is basically simple and um, it could uh, basically as I said um, um, personalize uh, your uh, or uh, make the efficiency of the energy uh, consumption better so um, I hope that uh, this is this was one short episode about this project uh, as I said I have other ideas in the future and I would like to uh, use this device as well because I have inserted one camera on the, on the device itself and it, it can actually monitor uh, the, the behavior of the person, the gesture and uh, a lot of things that uh, could be monitored uh, when, when the device is focused so um, and also I am trying to make uh, communication with the device um, the there, there is a speaker which is connected as a via the Bluetooth, and um, um, I can I can see that there are some opportunities to make it collaborative with the person. But we will see. All right. So I hope that this uh, you enjoyed this, and um, until the next episode. Yeah. See you.